How's it going guys? So the other day uh, a bunch of you saw the trailer for the Hard Surface Essentials pack and were asking about the lighting from that and it looked very similar to the Mandalorian sort of Star Wars intro lighting. And so I wanted to make a quick video about it. It's actually very very simple but it has a very cool effect. I'm going to use this particular model from the pack because it was circular and I thought it looked the most striking on a circular model but it really works on anything. So here's what we're going to do. Shift A, we're going to add in a area light specifically, and then I'm going to move him here to the side, move him here to the middle. What I would like to do is actually use in the light settings a disc shaped light. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate him 90 degrees to point, whoops, that's not 90, 90 degrees to point that direction, and then I'm just going to stretch him out to be pretty long, and I also want it to be pretty thin. I want that to be a really thin light, but really long and tall. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Shift D, and then I'm going to bring him over here roughly the same spot, and then in the um, rotation, I'm going to give it negative 90. So he can be pointed this direction. And then what I'm going to do now is get Shift A and get an empty plane axis, and then I'm going to bring it, him to the middle and scale him up so I can see him, just like that. So what I'm going to do now is click this guy, hold down Shift, him, and then click the last thing is the empty, hit control P and that's gonna parent the object and then click object. And so now this empty is going to control these lights. So now let's get into actually lighting this guy. He has a metallic material on him that also comes with the hard surface essentials pack which has um, another uh, 79 materials, procedural materials with that and a ton of models. If you wanna check that out, you can. The link is in the description to check out that pack. Um, so what I'm going to do is just bring my world brightness to zero, and we already have some interesting lighting going on. What I'm going to do is just uh, click on the empty, so that has everything parented because it's going to be in the drop down. And I'm going to give my power, say, at 50, and give the other one a power of 50 as well. So we have this going on. Let's go ahead and animate it. So on those particular animations, they were all about 120 frames long in the particular edit. I didn't actually use all those frames, but I liked it to loop. So click on the empty and then go to your preferences just to make sure in the animation tab that you are on default linear interpolation. So let's go ahead and animate that. So what, what we're going to do is we're going to animate the lights going um, just to show you animating them to do that. It's super, super simple. And again, like I said, it's a super striking effect. So I'm gonna click a um, keyframe, making sure we are on frame zero by hitting the back arrow. Go to the end, type in 360, clicking that. And then if we press play, we get a beautiful lighting effect. Of course, viewport doesn't give us the best shadows, so I'll show you how it looks in the end result. But again, you get a really incredible striking image. So now I'll show you the um, the, the end effect of how it actually looks. Viewport's not the best. So there you go. That's how you create that cinematic kind of Disney plus Star Wars lighting effect. It's really useful and super simple. So I hope you learned something and thanks for watching.